Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm Jim Weber with your tropical update. We continue to watch a very rapidly intensifying Hurricane Ada. Winds right now have increased to 120 miles an hour. Through the overnight hours, we really started to watch this storm become a much better organized. You can see that center, the eye, which basically looks like a pinpoint on the infrared satellite imagery. It's about 14 miles in diameter right now. Here's another view of the visible satellite imagery where you can really see we're seeing a very well-organized hurricane where we've seen that outflow on all quadrants. Uh, we have that light wind shear. We've got more water in place. So really, these are all the ingredients. If you want to see a intensifying hurricane, these are the ingredients that you want to see. Now, we're, unfortunately, we're dealing with a rapidly intensifying hurricane as it works its way on shore. Right now, winds are at 120 miles an hour, but this will continue to increase as we go through the afternoon. It looks like at this point, we may be talking about a 140 mile an hour winds making their way on shore as it moves on towards the west right now at nine miles an hour. It makes landfall late tonight into early tomorrow morning. So you've got the, the very strong winds causing damage. We've got the storm surge. And then because it's moving slowly, we are going to have torrential rains with this 15 to 25 inches of rain as this works its way on shore and slowly moves over the mountainous terrain. So we've got the flooding rains and the mudslides with this, and then it will slowly dissipate. Now, some of the computer models are indicating this may not dissipate completely over the mountainous terrain, or if it does, the remnants of it will move back out over the waters, and we may actually see this starting to reorganize or re-intensify as it moves back out over the Western Caribbean. You're seeing more and more of these models showing a solution like that, where it moves to the west, moves to the north, back into the Caribbean, and eventually could be heading towards the northeast. Here's the European and the GFS showing that same basic idea. So this is something that unfortunately we're going to have to watch not only for the next couple of days, but I think for the rest of the week and maybe even into next week. So we'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.